What's T says? It's me, Kima, of course, and welcome back to my channel. Today, I want to start getting ready for the new year. If the people turn over their keys and get their boxes and get their stuff out of the refrigerator, we'll have a new president. Today, I'm going to bring you my first and hopefully more to come because I know the consistency girl. I know y'all talking about my consistency. I be trying to just be in these moods girl. Pray for me. Send me positive vibes. Follow me on Snap. Follow me on Instagram. Follow me on Twitter and send me positive vibes girl. Anyway today I want to give y'all my first New Year's look. I am inspired by uh, his name is Makeup Messiah. I don't have to get it closer. I can see. Make a Messiah. And the look that I'm inspired by is this look that he did on Sukiyana. This is the look he did on Sukiyana's face. Don't mind my nails. I'm so sorry. And I'm inspired by that look. But I'm going to put my own touch on it to try to give it a New Year's flair. I want to thank y'all so much for watching. I want to thank all of the people that have subscribed to my channel. I am the new beauty YouTuber, guru, whatever, whatever. So everybody send me the sponsorships. Don't send it to them other people. Them other people have already proven that they cannot handle it. I can handle it with grace and elegance. So I already have my base down and I already have my brows on. I just recorded a tutorial for these brows. So if you're interested in like these faux laminated brows, I will have a tutorial. It should already be up. So make sure you check that out so you can get into the real heritage, the real heritage, the real hair the nine full real looking brows very much um like what the runway girls are doing now so i just wanted to show y'all that i can do it too using the jewish place warrior 2 palette i'm going to take this black shade right here called sawata and what we're going to do is we're going to start placing that on the outside of the crease and you're just going to pat this color in and make sure that it's very opaque. Then I start bringing it in on the lash line and taking it out and I'm just stamping that color in. I'm not even worrying about blending it yet and I'm pulling it out, look forward. So it's just basically a black line. All right, so when I'm looking forward, I like my line to touch the top. So I have to go in right here so that when I open my eye, it's a smoother line. like so. All right, so the next shade we're gonna take is this like a dark brown shade called Kofuru. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna start blending that on the edge of that black color. Little circular motions, pushing that color up all the way down to the lash line. I'm gonna start pushing that color towards the inner of the eye. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take an angled brush and we're going to go back to that first black color and we're going to go in and we're going to start lining the lid. And you also can blend out as you line. Some of that black did get taken away from using that Kofuru color. So you want to just go back in and help blend it together. Then we're just going to go back in with that Kofuru color because she is acting like she wants to leave the party. And we don't need her to leave the party just yet. And plus she's been drinking. So now we're going to go in with this light color called Yodix. And I'm going to take this lightly on all of it just to blend the edges. Take it up into the brow. Want to blend a little bit into the crease just to have somewhere for that Kofuro color to blend out to. So now we have our black blended up into our brown and then we took that lighter brown and blended the edges of that. So now we're going to go in and cut the inside of the crease. We're going to go in with a, a little detail brush and I'm going to go back into that first light brown color. And I'm going to take that and I'm going to start shaping out where I'm going to cut my crease. This is a good way to like practice 
cut creasing without putting so much shadow on and then cutting the crease. I'm actually going back and forth with that Kofuru color and that light brown color that Yo did and I'm just bringing it out. Then I'm going to take this Estee Lauder little small blending brush and going to take it in that light color again and I'm just going to run it back and forth until it like stops being so dark right here and then I can like really figure out what's going on. I think I'm going to pick up some of this Zamia, this color right here. And I think I'm going to take that and just add a little bit in there too. Because it looks like more peachy orange but when you blend it with the rest of the colors it just like looks like a more of a light brown. So I'm going to use that to go in and help blend that out. Go back in with that pencil brush and I'm going to take Kafuru and I'm going to go back in closer down to the bottom of the line just to bring the intensity back. Now we're going to go in with our concealer brush and our, some concealer. Now we're going to cut the inner corner of our eye. This is where you start going in and curving it. You want to lightly just dust the rest of it over this area just to help make it look more cut and more creasy. Now that we've cut the crease, we need to go in and we need to set the crease. So I'm going to take some powder and I'm going to go in and set this. This is the same powder that I would go under my eyes with. And since we lost some of that color, we're gonna go back in to that brown and we're gonna go in and just make sure everything is blended still. I'm going to take my duo glue and I'm gonna put some on the back of my hands. And I'm gonna start taking it in where we just cleaned up it. And I'm gonna pick up some glitter, beautiful glitter. And I'm going to just start sticking it on there. I usually don't use glitter like that, but lately I've been like in the glitter mood. And you're gonna kind of angle it up to go to follow that cut crease. The mascara that I'm using is the Clinique high impact it's all right anybody else get like eyelashes that just for no reason just turns down and it just be like one one single eyelash that will not curl up i'm going to put this lash on i think it looks kind of cute y'all let me cover this glitter up the gl i didn't show y'all the glitter but it's about wet and wild it's because it's a the top is loose it's a mess. Oh! And I just wasted glitter every fucking wear. Damn. I'll be back. All right, guys, I'm back and I've comp completed my full face um, with the foundation part and the bronzer and the contour part. So all I gotta do is my lips highlight. And uh, right now I'm gonna go in and I'm going to do the under eye to match this one. I need a new mascara. I need something that's going to give me like super dramatic bottom lashes. Um, so if y'all know anything, comment. Y'all, this is the finished eye look. Now I'm going to zoom y'all out. Okay. Everything good?
Ooh, that was a lot. I never really put any on my cheek, but today I feel like I can do a dab and then blend it in. And this is the completed look. Let me go do something with my hair and I will be right back so y'all can get into my gig. Alright you guys, this is the finished look. I went and put this little $3 top on that I got from Ross. And I went and, you know, just put a little bit of, you know, moisture on my hair so my hair can be a little bit moisturized. I'm going to turn the, um, exposure down. What do you guys think? It's so, it's very good for, like, your Instagrams, especially if you're doing something super, like, dramatic. I hope you guys like please look down in the description box follow my social media give this video a like a comment a thumbs up honey subscribe hit the notification bell it will be greatly appreciated help me grow my channel leave comments any questions down below and I will see you guys on my next one bye